Hey guys, Street Games here again. And who would have Deku could always use 100% of one for all? Now, this story, I'm going to try to be short and in parts. I hope it'll be at least three, four parts, maybe five. But this will be my, my main story for now because that one's broken. That nail's hard to make. I ain't made like ten of them, and it took me in those three weeks I didn't upload to make those thumbnails. Like, I'm not kidding. On the first day, my S Pen worked okay, because my touchscreen didn't work. And my S Pen barely works. It takes me weeks to make a thumbnail, and an hour to text. <laughs> so, yeah. But, oh, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to be referencing about two and a half mangas. Half a manga, because one of them is a sequel that's barely different from the original. From the original, but, yeah. Stories being Kengen Ashura, Record of Ragnarok, and Kengen Omega. So, yeah. Now, in order to get this one is born with a muscle condition known as Superman Syndrome. This is a reference to Akatsuki from Kengen Ashura, or Kengen Omega. Yeah. His muscles are denser and stronger than that of a normal human. And as the syndrome says, it makes him a superman. Well, a super boy, then a young, super young adult, because he's like 15, 16. We, we don't see a deck, we don't see adult, adult Midori yet. That's, 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 that's the point. Midori is able to basically somewhat luck out for his age, or not for his age, for his universe. And, well, he's able, well, if he trains it enough, he can contend some strength quirks. But actually, we should go to Dark Many. He has to have a consistent exercise to keep his muscles in check because they're basically, they're basically rampaging throughout his entire body. By the time Midoriya is 14, though, Midoriya is 14, though, his diets, his workouts, and all that bring him to a good 6 foot 4. He's a pretty big guy. And another Wakatsuki reference. Bakugo and Midoriya and this one are good rivals because Midoriya had a drive to keep working out. So with this, it's kind of awesome to contend like 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 some strength quirks. Like I'd say his power is like equal to that of like Death Arms already. Death Arms is like the guy who I'll find a picture of him real quick. See if my work work work. Yeah, yeah Death Arms is this guy. So yeah, Midori is like equal to him by the time he's fourteen. So but let's talk with Midori being about a good six four. So yeah. Boku and Midoriya are relatively good rivals. They're not like friends, but like, uh, how to phrase this? I'd say they're a lot like they're like they're a lot like Gun and Goo from Lookism. Daniel being more Goo, who not Goo. Daniel being more Gun, Logan being more Goo. So yeah, not Logan. Bakugo being more Goo. So yeah, like 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 like. Like, like Midori is the one that's calm, calm and composed, seemingly has, like, the more brute physical stats. Then we have Bakugo, who's the more loud, eccentric one, with the, obviously, more amounts of, like, skill. Now, Midori is pretty good at with skill, because he doesn't have, like, a quirk, he doesn't have, have like, have, like techniques for his quirk he needs to use. Bakugo has, has like, he has, like, his flight, short, short, short range explosive, explosions, big range explosions, there, that's, like, his variety. Midoriya himself has about, like, he does his martial arts. He does. He does. He does karate and judo. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, gonna specify because I don't feel like it. You can imagine any version of, version of karate or judo, and he, you can say he does that. So yeah, I don't. I don't care too much, but mm. but uh, yeah. But where was I? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so Midori and Bakugo are a lot like Gun and Goo. So, yeah. And Bakugo um, basically should rename Midori to Kosuke, or Quirkless Beast. There's a lot more words to that. I, I, I kind of just combined two of them. I combined, like, two words for Kosuke. Put, like, Quirkless Beast in Google Translate, and you can, like, get the words I'm talking about. So, yeah. Bakugo and Midori are a bit stronger than, than, like, the beginning of their series counterparts, obviously. I guess Midori can likely contend, like, I'm not saying he's stronger than him, but he'd beat the dog shit out of, out of, out of Sports Festival Midoriya. Like, he'd beat the shit out of him and even defeat his strategy. Like, like superpower flick. And Midori was like, oh, um, serious table flip. And have, like, a like, rubble in the way taking, taking the blast for him. 
He'd run, grab the grab him by his broken arm, and twirl him, twirl him around like a flag. Like, this man would dog walk canonical sports festival Midoriya. Bakugo, this Bakugo would do the same thing with his sports festival counterpart. He'd dog walk him. Like, the Bakugo already has AP shot, but because of his lack of, like, professional hero training, it's not as powerful and not as quick. So, yeah. Now, when it, now when it came to the Sludge Villain attack, like, attacking them, we're attacking Midoriya first. Midoriya is able to somewhat swing around, kind of like a chimp, to avoid the Sludge Villain. Because Midoriya is still pretty big. He's, like, he's muscular, obviously, but he's more lean than muscular. Because, well, um, thinking in Ashura is a battle. It's just one long sports tournament. Or, or tournament arc. It's kind of what it is. Same thing for Timber Record of Ragnarok. This is MHA. The buff that you get is All Might. And All for One. And Endeavor. And Death Arms. And there's like a few like buffs, like buff characters. They're all like 30 or 30, 30, 30 to 100. So, yeah. Midori is 14. He's more lean than anything. Like, his physique resembles that of like, I'd say. The best representation I can give is, like, probably Shoji. Like, even Shoji are about equal in physique. Midori is, like, three inches taller, though. I mean, Shoji are, are, is, like, is like, 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 a good representation. So, yeah. But Midori is, like, is a, like, like an ideal bodybuilder. So, yeah. Like an, like, an ideal beginner bodybuilder. So, yeah. But but when when I mentioned it comes to like All Might All Might versus versus like interfering toward smashing the Sludge Villain, he was kind of impressed with Midori's skill and physical prowess. Like it's obvious he's been in battles and stuff. Hell, his shirt has, 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 has dried blood on it. But he basically said, like, you know tells him like Midori or asked Midori like you know, hey, like, you know, hey kid, you're strong. What's your quirk? Midori said Midori comes aside, being asked a question a lot, saying, Yeah, I I ain't got one. All, all, all you can do is train hard. That's all, that's all I got in life. I dealt an unfair card. Hard, so I'm making my own. And all my all, all my resonates with that. He resonates with it hard. All my only was even impressed me and talk, talking to Midoriya. Telling Midoriya telling Midoriya that he thought he was quirkless at some point in life, or told Midoriya, like, you know, at some point in life, I, like we're basically I was quirkless for a lot for like a lot of my younger years. Telling Midoriya like, like, the days of his younger, younger times when we met Nana Gran Torino, but before he got one for all. And how hard they trained him. As as, as they're getting, getting to one for all, the such villain basically said it fell out of All Might's pocket when he had Midoriya jump, jump with him. As soon as, as soon as it fell, Midoriya and him are talking. They they get they get to one for all, but as soon as All Might, all Might brings out what, what one for all is, there's a big boom. Now through Midoriya's like ten years of hearing these these explosions, he recognized it immediately. Told All Might he has to go. As he grabbed, like, jumped off, like, grabbed him the railing, then jumped off at times like full force and speed. Basically, this is basically kind of like swinging around, kind of like a chimp, basically. Like, like, like a, stereotype, a stereotype for chimps and monkeys. Midori is doing that, swinging around, jumping around, throwing shit, whatever. So, yeah. He went Bakugo and looked at him, looked at the situation, and just said, Kotsky, let's do the KK Form 1A. KK being Kosuke Katsuki, yeah, or Kose Katsuki Form One A because they heard about Class One A in in UA. A lot of A's. <laughs> so yeah, Bakugo just closed his eyes, blasting at his feet full force. Most Sludge Villain was covering it, so he didn't have any hesitation. This skink was developed about about a year ago. After they actually fought this guy who had some sort of mud quirk, he was strong, but well, they lost, but he was still strong, but. They, they they did beat a school's ass in a fight. You get the mud quirk reference. You know who it is. Okay, if you want to get it, I'll give you a hint. He got into UA on recommendation, but he's not in one A. Is he Mirio? No, his quirk is permeation, not mud. But yeah, Bakker busted his feet, lifting himself off the ground a bit, getting one of his legs freed and half his body freed. As soon as Legend Villain tried to try to basically basically, basically like. Get at Bakugo again. Midoriya basically punched into a wall, grabbing like some like some Bakugo. Bakugo's soldiers are pretty big. So Midoriya basically grabbed into the wall, grabbing like like not like an iron pipe, but like one of those iron like stick 
Kind of like one of those miniature iron support beams, basically. The dirt grabbed that, pulling it out of the wall, stabbing it clean to the side villain's eye. Um, but I'm trying to think of like, a situation where I can like, remember it. Um, pff, shit, this is old. The, this, is old this is an old situation. The, 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 the Deadpool game. The, the, the Deadpool fell down, had gotten impaled by basically through the spine on, on, on this, metal, this metal pole. And basically has to like pull himself up. It's, it's a very annoying, annoying like 30, 40 second interaction between player and Deadpool. But Deadpool's like, hey, you know that you can't leave me here. I have to, I have to, pull, you have to, pull, you have to pull me off of this, right? And it's after, after, like, after Deadpool fought this um, villain, villain super strength. You guys recognize what I'm talking about? But already used one of those metal poles and basically sets out the sludge villain right in the eye. Now, this is basically this technique is made mainly used to create a giant explosion to lift Baku off the ground, and using rubble as like as like a cloud, Midori able to use any object around him to swing it at a distance, clearing the smoke, but also beat the shit out of out of the villain. So, or out of the villain, not out of the villain, or out of the villain, but also their opponent, whatever. So yeah, so the villain, the villain would basically yell in pain, only for Baku to use his biggest explosion that wouldn't destroy the entire alleyway, and basically basically just knock out the sludge villain. So, yeah. So, Sludge Villain is locked up, and Midoriya and Baku are praised by Death Arms, but they're also scolded. They're also scolded. When Death Arms is going to question Midoriya's quirk on, uh, like, why he didn't use, like, like, more strength to pull his friend out, like, you know, saying, you're, you're a big kid, and I assume you have strength quirk, why don't you pull him out? But he says, oh, um, I don't, I, I don't have a quirk. I'm quirkless, just kind of talented with skill. And they praised him even more for being that brave. All the heroes praised him, but some of them tell him, you know, that was very dangerous for someone of your standing. Midori says, uh, no, not really. Um, I've beat the shit out of hundreds of kids with quirks. Um, I've, I've schooled heroes before. I'm, I'm very, very, very notorious. Quite, quite notorious. Um, like, you can't be that, be that notorious. Midori has one arm through death arms across the street. Like he weighed nothing, telling him, nope, notorious, and walked off. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that, that kid is strong. Like, 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 S, space, like, 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 capital S, space, capital T, space. Like, like, like space, capital, space, capital. Strong. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to walk back, walk back up to the roof. I might... I might we finish his story with one for all. With Midoriya being more of a delinquent, he studied quirks more, and even told All Might that he should he should research past users. Because Midoriya develops, develops theories. Midoriya's thing on his feet a lot because of how much he fights. Thing on his feet is basically, basically Midoriya's key trait. The point where he didn't develop a photographic memory, more like a photographic notebook. Where each time each time he finds a new a new quirk, there's a new page where he where he immediately thought of theories, abilities. Then when he gets home, he'll write down everything he thought of, then go more in detail. His on foot is like on like 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 on his feet theory for one for all. So now it's a skill one for all will allow you to unlock further power within it within it. All Might said he was the first quirkless user. But when he theorized, because All Might relied on the soul base being super strength and speed, he didn't try to go deeper into it. And when All Might says, you know, I'm getting getting up there in, in years, so at this point it doesn't even matter. Maybe you could be the one to deep dive into it. I, I, I can just, I can just cover the, cover the research bases. So that's kind of their plan. So yeah, all my, all my tries to make Midoriya eat hair, but simply put, Midoriya just Midoriya just held out like, 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 like a cup, like a cup, like a like he brought all, all my to his house because he was at work. He gave, he gave all my a blender, saying, "Spit in the blender, please." Why did do that? Question: What Midoriya's doing? Only, only, only for Midoriya to make like an entire smoothie and say. Uh, yeah, this is better for me. As as as, as, as chugged the entire smoothie, saying saying I, I I didn't taste the spit, but knowing it was there made it worse. But I don't, I'm also not eating your hair. You were you were fighting sludge today. Mm -mm. You were fighting you were fighting a literal essence of mud. It's gross. The mud in your hair, I see it. <laughs> so yeah, like Midori, Midori's body is ready to handle one for all at this point. So yeah. So yeah, so for the, for the course over the course of ten months, Man Midori cleaned the beach, trained with Mirio, Night Eye, Gran Torino, and even got some advice from like recovery girls to the how not to strain his body. 
But after these 10 months, Midoriya would basically basically improve one one for all using his own his own martial art techniques. As he would learn every single smash ability. I'm gonna list these because I'm ending the video after I list all these techniques. There's California Smash, which is a somersault into a downward punch. Basically, do a somersault, then end with an, like as you're doing a somersault as you're like about to land, have a downward punch under your enemy. California Smash version two, two sword style bit only gear. Best way to describe it: like you dash forward, arms out, arms out, slash. Two, two sword style, your arms are the swords. Detroit Smash, we know, we know what that is. Missouri Smash. Basically, basically, you run by, dash, slap the back of someone's head, they hit the ground unconscious. Basically, quick, 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 quick slap, right over the brain, they hit the ground. All it is. Nebraska Smash. Basically, you punch with your fist at a certain angle. Like, the reference is like, um, it's a good reference. Hobbin versus, versus Pot Go. It was like the first fight where Hobbin has like finished his same act training for like the basic at the beginning of the series. We see like like Hobbin land his first punch on Pot Go and knocking him to the ground. That's that's basically what a Nebraska Smash is like the punch at that angle. Or when um, Hobbin fought Pot Go again when Pot Go had his mom on his streams. So when how many had Hobbin's mom on the streams? New Hampshire Smash. This this is mean a lot. So I hope you guys know what this is. If you don't, you're missing out on some funny content. Research it. Oklahoma Smash. That is a spinning shoulder throw. It's actually what it is. If you don't know what a spinning shoulder, is, shoulder throw is, you can Google it. Texas Smash. Straight right punch. Or right punch. Or straight punch. Shit. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Straight punch. Straight right punch. Google it. Uh, you, you, United, United States of Smash. We all, we all know what that is. If you don't know, don't know what that is, and you're an MHA fan, you're either watching, watching the show too late or you forgot. In that case, I say fuck you. All right. Delaware Smash. This one is more or less the flicking, the flick technique. Like, anytime, anytime Mid Mid Midoriya flicks the air, that is a Delaware Smash. But this time Midoriya improved it by basically, basically doing not a finger, not finger flick, but more a slam. Midoriya does basically like he'll put his, like, his finger on your forehead and basically slam you into the ground with that single finger. It doesn't do a lot of damage, it just knocks you out immediately. It's like the equivalent of being suplexed onto a mat and passing out. This is kind of what it is like. Midoriya is using strength, sure. It's one finger. Not, it's not that much force. Have like a slightly above average strength quirk, and you can you, you, you can shrug this off. Like 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 um let's say for a reference, uh Rappa. He can shrug this off. Like anyone anyone that's like that's like Rappa level and above can shrug this off. Fat gum. He can shrug it off. Uh, fucking Kirishima. Red Riot Unbreakable Kirishima. Shrug it off. Or, he'll struggle, but he'll shrug it off. Um, uh, mum, mum Muscular. He'll, he'll shrug it off. Shit. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what someone, someone may say about that. Uh, Man, Manchester Smash. This is a Muay Thai technique, which is a jumping push kick. Midor Midoriya improved it because Manchester Smash is more or less, not a roundhouse kick, but it's, it's this, it's not it's a different, it's a different, different kick, kicking ability. You can Google it. St. Louis Smash is a roundhouse kick. That's what, this, that's what it is, actually. Wyoming Smash. It's more a different kind of chop, but Midoriya made this a chop to the collarbone. So, yeah. Then, in 10 months, Midoriya unlocked full cowling. 1 through 15%. And one technique... I mean, like, there's, there's, like, there's, like two, there's like three techniques here that were inspired by um, Mirko. First technique that's inspired by, by, by Mirko was a combination of Mirko and Gran Torino, which is called Jet Orikto, or Ikto, because so this is a scientific name for a rabbit. It's like Orikto something. So yeah, basically he bounces around, bounces around, around the room, la like like launching kicks or like like stops, like he'll bounce around the room, room, just just upward kick, bounce around the room, bounce around the room, land on your back. This is the stuff he does. You never know what's coming. All he changes up. And then, there's, then, there's, then there's Kosuke Menace, which is a stronger version of Phantom Menace, but also, instead of phasing, he's moving at uh, hyper, hypersonic speeds. So yeah, but also he's bouncing off the walls using using, using his, like, like basically, basically the balls of his feet. So, yeah. There's Crescent Ring, which is just, just dashing, dashing Crescent Kicks. 
So this is actually known as, there was there were, there was two Mir Mir Mirko inspired techniques, two inspired Mirko techniques, one inspired Mirio technique. I messed that up. Crescent in the ring is basically him kind of going around the room in a circle, circle as formation, doing crescent kicks to the head, which is more or less taekwondo based. So yeah. And this is, this is to make up to make up for my lack of um, shoot style shoot style, shoot style techniques. Then final final miracle, miracle inspired technique is setting arc, which is more or less a modified version of her of her lunar arc, which is just mere, this is just Midoriya doing an axe kick. So yeah, this axe kick is more or less developed, developed to cut people instead of actually like hitting them in the head. Because if he does like a full powered axe kick, he'll, he'll he'll compress your spine. <laughs> like if he does a full powered axe kick. He will send your head to your crotch. He will invert your body. He will act to you so hard you you will shit out your own head. So yeah, but that's all of Midori's techniques. If you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. The bell's optional. Do, do as you please. At least like if you don't, if you don't, don't like the video, oh buddy, like my, 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 my other content. Subscribe. Put the bell on. Put the bell on none. I definitely don't mind. I only want subscribers. I these, are, these are okay. I don't mind them. They go on and off. Eh, okay. But yeah. So yeah, this is this is what a Deku. Oh my bad. This was what a Deku was always able to use one hundred percent one for all. Uh, adios. Bye. Well, the, eh, whatever. Bye.